So the financing of P3 project is actually quite, quite complex. The private sector needs to come together with a, with a proposal which they take to actually to rating agencies. And they actually get the rating agencies to rate the project from a financial point of view. And once they have that financial rating, they then go out into the marketplace to secure financing. Most of the financing in Canada has been, com been coming from uh, the banks, investment funds and pension funds. Well, Surety's had to respond to the whole P3 marketplace. When the rating agencies are rating a project, in the past they've tended to say that if there's a letter of credit as part of the security package, they've rated that fairly high. The surety industry has responded by developing uh, a P3 or a hybrid type of bond. It's a bond that actually has a liquid component to it or a letter of credit type component to it so that that would be sort of the first call in the event of a claim under the bond. The bonds also have other obligations that we don't see in a normal bond. They may have coverage for liquidated damages or delay claims or um, other financing costs that may come about.